Hi, I'm Tadao of Madatsukaerude. Madatsukaerude is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So, let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today, I'm gonna work on 93 Jeep Turkey AC system. It hasn't been working for a long time. And uh, first, I thought about filling the uh, refrigerant, but the, uh, you know, this system, uh, old truck, uh, uses R12 gas that's I cannot really uh, get it uh, so the only licensed uh, dealer or the the mechanic can get it so the and also considering it's really old truck uh, 27 years old so the it's better to replace probably the compressor is al already uh, leaking and many parts are leaking so the I decided to upgrade the system to R134 system and comparing with the uh, R12, R34 needs higher pressure to make it work. So uh, the entire system has to be upgraded. So the, I got the old parts, uh, replacement upgrade parts uh, online. So I'm gonna replace everything. So this is what I got. I purchased online the entire upgrade set. So what I'm gonna do first is to uh, check the system has uh, the residual gas or not. Put this hose, put this hose here. And open the low pressure. This is the thick uh, line is the low pressure side. So the, check the pressure of the low pressure side. I'm gonna open the valve. Uh, this has the one is uh, square. Uh, someone already damaged this valve head, but the, someone uh, told me that the, the trick to open this valve, so use the uh, one inch socket and use reverse, and this is quarter inch square, so that I can turn it with quarter inch wrench. This is what happened actually. I hooked up the pressure gauge at the blue side here and tried to open this valve but someone, some mechanic actually the, the damaged the, the thread, I mean the uh, key for this valve and these two valves are so, so hard to open someone so, so the, the leak is a big problem for the or uh, AC system, so they they are kind of uh, you know so nervous about leaking, but this is and and over tightening the valve and they damage the valve, and I gave up and I uh, this is twenty years old car a uh, twenty seven years old car, and and AC has not been working for many years, so I my bet was the the old gas was gone already, so. Uh, I tried to connect the high uh, pressure uh, gauge on this side, but this fitting, I, I don't have the same fitting. This is one side smaller than the low pressure side. So I left this open and tried to open this valve. And this guy had the uh, the square key still there, but the, I was carefully opening it, and, but I ended up snapping the head. So I cannot open this valve either. And, and that's crazy, it's, it's so tightened, too hard. And uh, anyway, so that means I cannot, I have to give up with using these valves. <clears throat> I think I have to buy new one. And uh, so I ended up with opening this and carefully opening it, if, if there's a residual gas, it's, I have to close it right away. But the, as I expected, it was basically no gas was left. So it's now loose. So I'm gonna start uh, working on replacing the parts. So what I have to do is I have to buy a new valve the, for this, uh, for the new compressor. Hopefully hoses are fine, but everything I noticed th th when I opened this guy, this one guy was also 
very tight. And I think the the AC mechanic, they, they are worried too much about the leak. Although these, I, I believe these are, have the, all the gas, uh, this, the o-ring, rubber o-rings. So if you have a rubber o-ring, you don't want to over tighten the system, you know, you damage the o-ring and you get a leak. So the, but anyways, I had <laughs> a bad start. I haven't even the, started anything else, but the, the my gut feeling is all the feelings, this component, for example, I, I will have difficult time. So I'm going to put the, all the, the penetrating oil for this and try to arrange the valve and, and start slowly working on it. Hopefully I can finish it. This is reverse or not? So reverse thread, lifty tight. <coughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? This is stupid. This is not reverse. This is not reverse. This is forward. And why they, why they put the notch on this? I, I don't understand, uh, the, on the nut. It, it, I think in the industrial gas, if you have a notch on the nut, it reverse for the more dangerous gas actually. Uh, and if, uh, I cannot believe this. This, this doesn't have a knot. Uh, this, this has a notch, but this doesn't have the, it's, it's not the reverse. That's stupid. So actually I changed my mind. Uh, since the, there's no gas pressure, I'm safe to loosen all the fillings and uh, also the, check the other components. The, I, all I have is the, the new compressor, a new condenser and dryer and the valve. Uh, I mean the, the block. The, so the, I don't have the tubings and I have to inspect the, the for example, this, this tubing is really rusted badly. So that it's better to replace it and probably uh, somewhere around uh, the, in the, the connection might be leaking. So the, what I'm going to do first is to take uh, all the component out and inspect and, and the arrange the, the additional components I need and I put it back together. I'm gonna work on this uh, dryer. I'm gonna disconnect this sensor. So I have to secure this sensor, I think. So it's off. Uh, this guy is off, that guy is off, so this guy has to be removed. Okay, I'm gonna move on this here. Okay, so these are fine. I think I can take it off. Alright, now let's move on to the condenser. So the condenser is is the the front one, and this guy is the transmission, the radiator, as a condenser here. So I think I'm gonna take off this plastic panel, and then take this this one. Also, I have to loosen the belt. That's not difficult. I also have to take, I think I have to take these fans also. Okay, I'll do that. Sorry. 
So I ended up with uh, removing the air filter to access this connector and I could remove the connector. So I hope I can remove the front grill. Okay. Ooh, that's rusty, huh? Ooh. There we go. So I didn't know that that the this engine coolant radiator has pins start actually here so to see that's two pins with damper and the radiator I mean the condenser for AC will have the these two brackets well and two and a bracket so you can pull you, you, there's an it's interesting i didn't i didn't lose anything anything on the bottom so there's no nut on the other side it looks like it's there's no threaded this is no threaded pin but this pin will hold that the bracket for the ac on this i, I think i gotta clean this a little bit so these are the old and new uh, condensers. Looks like the fitting and the outer bracket are same. So it's gonna it gonna be attached without any problem. I hope. So I'm gonna remove this dryer. It's only one screw. And I'm gonna remove that valve. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm gonna put new one now. So this is a new one. I think this is directional. Uh, when you see inside, one side you can see the a little pin there. The other side you don't see it. So the 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 side you can see the pin will go this way. And put the new. O-ring, I'm gonna wipe the O-ring. Uh, let me see your surface a little bit. And again, this is O-ring seal. So you don't wanna over tighten this. Nice. So I cleaned these two hoses. And it looks like this, this is usable. This one and this one, low pressure side. I'm gonna reuse this. 